first new at six, a clothing wholesaler facing federal charges here in Rhode Island, accused of selling counterfeit military gear to the U.S. government. And we've learned the Rhode Island Military Clothing Company allegedly had their trademark ripped off as part of the scheme. Ivory News reporter Steph Machado has been going through the court documents we've obtained. She joins us now live from Providence Federal Court. Prosecutors say the man from New York was making the counterfeit military gear in China and then selling it to the U.S. government, including the Rhode Island National Guard. 49-year-old Raman Cohen Bosch is accused in a $20 million scheme by federal prosecutors in Rhode Island who say he was making knockoff military uniforms and gear in China and then selling them through suppliers to the U.S. military, including the Rhode Island National Guard. Court documents say the feds found over 1,700 boxes of counterfeit military uniform items and gear at his warehouse in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Prosecutors say, for example, he had thousands of knockoff hoods with the trademark free on them, claiming to be flame resistant. But documents say the counterfeit free hoods were not flame resistant. One of the alleged victims of the scheme is a North Kingstown company, United Associates, which sells clothing and uniforms like infrared parkas to the military. Val Bozzi, the owner of United, tells Eyewitness News he discovered Cohen Bosch's company was sewing United's tags into counterfeit goods that didn't actually have the infrared technology. He filed a lawsuit last year. And Cohen Bosch will be summoned here to federal court in Providence next month to answer to charges of wire fraud and trafficking in counterfeit goods. I did reach him by phone, but he told me he knew nothing about the alleged scheme and hung up. We also did not hear back for comment from the Rhode Island National Guard. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.